everybody, today I'm gonna do an AeroPress coffee maker review and tutorial kind of. So if you're new around here, I make videos every day. I do reviews sometimes, I do react videos, I, I do vlogs, I do a little bit of everything and I post pretty much every day. So the AeroPress, it makes a fantastic cup of coffee. So I've got a Keurig, I've got an espresso machine, why would I use the AeroPress? The answer is, it makes a really good cup of coffee. There's a bit of ritual to the process, so it's, it's kind of a it's kind of a thing I, I do for myself when I wanna like take a moment and make a really good cup of coffee that I'm gonna sit there and enjoy. Not a energy coffee, but a for the love of coffee coffee, then I might use the AeroPress. Some of the real benefits to this, it's not really specific about the grind. Now I will say the, um, the coarser the grind, the more coffee you really need to use for the AeroPress in my experience. Um, and if the grind is too fine, then you might get some dust in your coffee. Uh, but in general, I've thrown everything at this from espresso type grinds all the way up to French press type grinds. And I've never really had an issue with the grind. Um, ab absolutely no maintenance at all. You just rinse it off when you're done and that's all it takes. They sell this as a brewer that can brew one to three cups. But honestly, I like a strong cup of coffee. One really great strong cup of coffee or two pretty good diluted cups of coffee. Even a weak cup of coffee out of the AeroPress tastes better than a cup of coffee out of my Keurig if I use a capsule. I do have a method with my reusable capsule for the Keurig that can make a cup of coffee almost as good as the AeroPress. Another huge plus with this thing is that it's $30, $29.95 even. Most of the ways you're gonna get a cup of coffee as good as you get with the AeroPress involve really expensive machines. Um, so for 30 bucks, you can make yourself an award-winning cup of coffee. If you buy the AeroPress, it comes with some paper filters. You can buy an aftermarket stainless steel screen. I usually go with the paper filters, but when I'm camping or something like that, I take the metal filter so that I don't produce any waste. The paper filters just look like this. They go right into this little guy right here, and then it all just goes together like that. When you brew with the AeroPress, you fill this thing up with the water, then you stick this plunger in, and you just leave it hanging like that so that the coffee can brew in there. With the metal filter, I found that more of the water falls through into my cup before I cap it off and the brew process starts. Um, so at home, I like the paper filter. It traps the coffee a little better while it brews. Basically, all you do, you put your filter in here, you put some coffee in here, then you pour water in there, stir it up, cap it off, let it sit for one minute, then you just press it through. It's easy, it's cheap, it makes a fantastic cup of coffee, so let's put this thing to work. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just start your hot water brewing. Optionally, you can wet your filter. A lot of real coffee aficionados swear that you need to wet the filter to get any paper taste out. You can rinse off your filter if you want and then load it into the AeroPress and give it a twist to lock everything in place. Then go ahead and set it on your coffee mug. With most coffee roasts, I just like two tablespoons of coffee. So go ahead and put your two tablespoons of coffee into the AeroPress. Once your water's done boiling, you want to take it off of boil and give it about 15 seconds until it really stops boiling before you pour it into your coffee. You don't want to scorch your coffee. So let's go ahead and pour the water in. And from this point forward, we're going to have to work pretty fast. Give it a quick stir and then insert the plunger so that no more water leaks through and start a timer for one minute. Now all that's really left to do is to press that coffee through the filter and we'll have a fantastic cup of coffee. Well, that's a damn fine cup of coffee. I've used the AeroPress for about a year. I'd say I use it once or twice a week. I don't make every cup of coffee with it. Sometimes I go a couple of weeks without using it. Sometimes I just get in a mood where I want a fancy cup of coffee, and I'm gonna use the AeroPress. Let me know down there in the comments how you guys like to make coffee. Um, do you just use a regular old coffee pot? Do you have some fancy espresso machine? I've, I've had it all. I've had really good espresso makers. I've had cheap espresso makers. I've had French press, different coffee press, pour over methods. I've had coffee made in every way, shape, or form. The AeroPress is one of the best cups of coffee available to a consumer, so I, I highly recommend it. If you're new around here, we do reviews, funny videos, react videos, vlogs. Me and my wife Amanda post a video pretty much every day, and we'd love it if you'd subscribe and hang out with us. Anyway, this was my AeroPress review. Hit the like button if you like a good cup of coffee. I know you do because you're watching this video. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching.